celebration of life for Roy Halliday. It's happening right now in Clearwater, Florida. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. Halliday died one week ago today when his private plane crashed in the Gulf of Mexico. He was just 40 years old. This is a live look now at Spectrum Field where the service is still underway. Spectrum Field is the Phillies' home for spring training, and several of Halliday's former Philly teammates life, are expected to speak this afternoon. Sports Director Don Bell joins us now live from Clearwater. And Don, that service could be best be described as a somber celebration. Yeah, no question about it. We are here. This is an open event here to celebrate the life of Roy Halladay. It began about 30 minutes ago. We'll show you some video here. A lot of people here to celebrate the life of Roy Halladay. We're talking about a combination of friends, family, former teammates, and fans are in attendance here at Spectrum Field. Halliday was a big member of this community. He trained as a Blue Jay just four miles north of here. He and his family lived about 30 minutes away from this complex. There are nine speakers scheduled to appear here today. And just moments ago, we heard from John Middleton, the managing partner of the Phils. Roy was the real deal, truly a great person and a great competitor. As important as winning was to him, Doc defined success at competing at his best, especially when the stakes were the highest, and never letting his teammates and organization down. For that reason, and notwithstanding his deep disappointment at never pitching in a World Series, Doc was content. This is a live look at the ceremony, and that is Chase Utley stepping to the podium at this exact moment, and he is ready to deliver his comments here to uh, friends, family, former teammates. So Chase Utley, if you're looking to hear his comments, by the way, you can do so right now on our Facebook page. We are streaming this live, and coming up later in sports, we will have more from these guys. In fact, let's listen to his comments right now. And everyone here loved Roy. They knew him in various and different aspects of his life. As a teammate, I saw every day what it took to be a man among boys. Roy's relentless work ethic, discipline, and determination was just a small piece of his mastery of baseball. I've told this story a few times over the past several days, but I'm going to tell it again because I think it really embodies what Roy was all about. It all happened here in this clubhouse. First time I met Roy. It was the first day for me of spring training and I wanted to get in early. I wanted to Show my teammates that I was I was ready to go. I remember walking in with with Brian Schneider. It was 5:45 in the morning. The sun wasn't out yet. Assuming we would be the first people here, I was definitely wrong. Roy was was sitting at the, the table, almost finished with a, a huge breakfast, and he had his workout clothes on, but they were they were soaking wet. And I was thought to myself, there's no way. There's no way he already got a workout in. So I said, hey, uh, Roy, did, uh, did, was it raining when you, when you walked in this morning? He kind of let out a chuckle, stood up, put out his hand, said, no, I just, just finished my workout. I knew right then and there, this guy was the real deal. Um, and, I, and I loved it. Real deal indeed. Roy Halladay, eight-time All-Star, two-time Cy Young Award winner. Uh, Chase Utley stepping to the podium here at Spectrum Field. And also we're expecting to hear from Charlie Manuel as well. And coming up later on in sports, we will bring those comments to you as they continue to pour in. But for now, coming to you live from Clearwater, Florida, I'm Don Bell for CBS3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, a lot of great stories for a great human being. Don, thank you so much.